This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Talk to me about Shawn Michaels. He's coming into this match with a bad knee, and uh, there's going to be some stuff written about it. Do you remember Shawn working this show hurt? Shawn was very hurt. Shawn needed to get surgery, and this was during a time where Okay, if you were hurt and you need to get surgery, let's go out and make a reason for you to to be out of action for a while where the audience can actually see it and not do any more damage to the injury, but it's already there and you gotta have surgery anyway. So let's do it. This is really the first time we hear about him having some sort of knee issue. We know he's gonna have knee surgery in ninety seven and of course, famously, that's the same year where he talks about losing his smile, but he comes back and I don't know. It does feel like he's had a series of knee problems through his career, but this is the first time that it rears its head during his WWF run, right? Yes. Yes. And, and it was unfortunate. Shit happens sometimes, man. Well, power and glory are going to defeat the rockers in six minutes, six minutes and one second. Uh, Meltzer would say it was obvious that Shawn Michaels was hurting, just walking fast down the aisle. The rockers usually run and he wasn't ready to work because of his bad knee. So the only option other than subbing him with Shane Douglas, as they've done on the house shows was to do an immediate angle where Hercules jumped in before the bell and nailed his knee with a chain because of that. Janetti worked the entire match. It's interesting that McMahon acknowledged Michaels was coming into the match with a knee injury. And the guys did about as good as they could, considering they were limited in time, fast action with Roma and Janetti and lots of double teaming as well. Hercules still stinks, but with a hot partner, they'll make one of the better tag teams in the Federation. Roddy Piper kept saying the rockers were like Mick Jagger and David Bowie showing he's kept himself only 15 years behind the times on hot rock artists. Janetti had Roma pinned and Hercules clotheslined him just before the finish. Hercules doing the superplex and Roma splashing him off the top rope. Janetti was probably the best worker on this card. The heels left both guys laying after the match. Michaels did a stretcher job and the way commentary went, I got the impression Michaels is going to be out of action for a while. Three stars. Lots to unpack here. What do you think of Meltzer's comment that Janetti is the best worker on the card? I think that Janetti is an excellent worker and, uh, I don't know if he was best on the card, but he definitely was an excellent worker. It's, it's interesting that, you know, Janetti is held in such high regard as an, as a bell to bell performer, but it's the out of the ring stuff. That's always kept him in trouble. I'm sure I mean, you never talked about this, but. I'm sure it at least came across your timeline and you saw some of the craziness that Janetti's name has been attached to this year. Yeah. You know, it's just a shame. And I've never understood the, the need to, to share everything about your life out in public. Um, as you know, uh, this is about as much as I'll do. And I, I don't, I don't subscribe to it. Don't try not to do it. And people say, God damn, Bruce, you do a podcast <laughs> every week. Yeah, I do. I just, um, try to keep personal things personal. Yeah. You always play, you know, with, with Stephanie's particular challenges here, or there, you don't comment on it at all. You just, I mean, if it comes up, it's because I'm, you know, trying to rally some prayer warriors for you here on the show, but it's not like you're putting any of your business out there. Yeah. And then, so I just think that that's kind of on, on Marty's part. It's, it's, yeah, it's tough to comment on because you, you don't know, you don't know what's fact, what's fiction and what's just trying to get your name out, out there in the public. I hope that Marty can pull the nose up. I mean, he's one of all of our favorite wrestlers, you know, growing up, we grew up with him and. I don't want to see him in a bad way. So I hope that he can get some things straight and, and it would just be great for him to have a second act. I agree. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.